I'm not leaving. POTUS is leaving. He's not going to run for a second term. I'm going to run. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Wow. I did not see that coming. Oh. Oh. Delita Meyer, she feels the fire. Bam. Woo, boom, let's go to that f***ing oh. moon. Oh. He's this close oh. to living on my boat. Uh, scenario look familiar, welcoming, welcoming back uh, the executive producer and showrunner of Veep, David Mendel. I mean, could you have ever imagined that what we saw in Veep could actually be playing out essentially in real life? No, uh, actually, that was sort of the point of Veep. It was supposed to not happen. You know, uh, we used to sit around and think of what are the silliest things that could happen? What is the worst thing a candidate could do? What's the worst thing a candidate could say? And now that they're actually happening, it's actually both hilarious and, dare I say, sometimes a little frightening. Why frightening? Well, again, you know, we're trying to entertain people, make people laugh. That's not really what I want from politics most of the time. Yeah, it's interesting because the Veep creator um, actually wrote this op-ed on the New York Times. Yep. And if we can scroll to that on the prompter, I want to read this to you. Um, because he basically was talking about how, look, what worries him is that politics has become so much like entertainment that the first thing we do to make sense of the moment is to test it against sitcom. And he's actually discouraged people are comparing Selena Meyer to Kamala Harris. What do you make of that and what he says? Uh, I completely agree. I mean, I think, I, I mean, I want Kamala Harris to be judged on her own merits. I also think, unfortunately, and I've said this elsewhere, I think people are trying to use Selena Meyer sometimes to attack uh, Kamala, that that makes her, because the show is about a, forgive me, a sort of sometimes incompetent woman vice president. It's an easy, you know, sledgehammer with which to attack our current vice president. Um, I think there are a lot of people that are celebrating things. There are people that are celebrating the show and they're celebrating Kamala, and that's fantastic. But it's not lost on me that there are some with less honorable intentions. But uh, yeah, I think our uh, we should be holding our candidates up to uh, levels of former great candidates, you know, the Lincolns, you know, et cetera, not the great sitcoms, you know, so uh, Armando is completely right. But I wonder, you know, as the executive producer of this show, as this is all playing out, right, sure. Joe Biden steps aside, um, saying he's not going to run for re-election, Vice President Harris quickly becomes the presumptive Democratic nominee, essentially. What is going through your mind? I mean, I can't imagine, like, this is actually happening. Life really is imitating art. It is, I, you know, I was starting to say it's been very ironic, but I don't use the word ironic properly and nobody else does either. I find it, I do find it funny. I, I have enjoyed, I've enjoyed the ride, but I am, I, I will say as exciting as that is, I'm more excited, I think by just in general, the energy that I'm seeing coming out of the, you know, the campaign by the changeover. So I'm sort of, I'm enjoying it, but I am surprised, I am shocked. Uh, on the on the plus side, more people are watching Veep, more people are talking about Veep. I'm here on CNN for no reason, and I haven't made an episode of Veep in six years. So uh, it well, counts to be clear, for there is a yeah. reason, but yes, I mean, yeah, it's true. I mean, you're getting free PR, right? I mean, a lot of it. <laughs> I'm I'm making pennies in residuals, so this is fantastic. Yes. Oh my goodness! All right, so let's <laughs> let's just play this moment again where Selena learned Please. that her boss would not seek re-election. POTUS knows how this is all going to end. So, he drank the poison Kool-Aid from my very big blue mug. Huh? He isn't going to run again in two years. Are you serious? No, I'm Joan Rivers. Of course I'm serious. So why, why didn't he tell me this? Why are you telling me this? Because he couldn't stomach the look like that, just like that, of unbridled joy. Ben, I am, I'm crying very quietly on the inside. While in your mind you're doing pirouettes on his grave. How do you imagine Vice President Harris reacted to the news? Uh, I think she took it uh, a lot better than that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, Selena Meyer is a very petty person, a very power hungry person. Uh, and in some ways, I think, you know, for everybody trying to make uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, comparisons between Selena and Kamala. It's Donald Trump that you should be making your Selena comparisons with. He's petty. Okay. He has no sense of humor. He, you know, he's he's the Selena, not right. Kamala, in my opinion. All right, David. Thank you so much. Great to have you on.